Hey guys and welcome to Toy Review TV and a radio control car review. This is from the Maisto Tech line. It is the Street Troopers Motorized Attack Vehicle Project 66. Now this does come with two different modes. You can have the normal sleek looking vehicle or you can then convert it into attack mode with the flick of a switch or the push of a button and you can see that firing mechanism will pop out in front of the car with some projectiles. This model is available from Hawkins Bazaar in a gold and black police design or this red and black design which is exclusive to Hawkins Bazaar. So guys if you want this red and black model you will have to go to Hawkins Bazaar where you will find lots of really cool models there as well but this being one of them. Now you can find Hawkins Bazaar at hawkin.com. I will leave the link in the description below. Please do go and check that website out. Well back to this awesome model. Let's take a spin of it in the packaging. It does look really really nice and well presented in this window, this plastic window packaging. Now you will need eight AA batteries guys to get this thing started. So please do keep that in mind when purchasing one of these. As you can see in there it does show you the car in a tack mode and you can see the controller as well. And just take a quick spin of the box. It will show you the functions on the back. It shows you how it transforms. It shows you the cannon and it's firing and it says press to transform that is the large button on the controller and there are two buttons at the top and you press those to fire your projectiles and there you can see the car transforming from the sleek looking car mode into the attack mode with the missiles ready to launch and it does give you details of how to control the car there as well so lots of information just on the packaging and this does come with a handy carry handle as well so there you go guys if the box is that good the actual vehicle is going to be outstanding so let's open this up and take a better look so here it is project 66 and it is one beast of a machine here it is in the vehicle mode and we do have these chrome effect rims as well we have the deep dish ones to the rear with the brake discs showing at the back of there and again we have some chrome effect rims to the front again with the brake discs and we have the carbon effect finish to the bonnet as well and all these decals search and rescue we have the stickered lights to the front and we have a smaller ball bar just to the front of the vehicle and then all these decals 66 rescue battalion command as well and we have this fin on the rear this spoiler which reads street trooper rescue and we do have some nice decals on the top as well and we have the exhaust system giving it that really nice sporty feel to the rear of the vehicle now this of course will transform into attack mode as well now I can do this manually but I will be showing you in a second how this does work with the batteries inserted but there you go if I lift that up that is now in attack mode and you can see the cannon ready for action showing you those rubber tipped missiles there are five inserted into the cannon and we also get three spare in this as well and this is what your missile looks like when it is not in the cannon ready for action so let's put project 66 to the rear now and we will have a look at the controller now we have the left and right steering on this, we have the off and on for the morph mode, we have a multi-channel ABC switch and we have the two fire buttons at the top and this big button in the middle is the one that you want to hit when you want to morph it into attack mode or back into the normal vehicle mode. Now of course we do need eight AA batteries with this, two of which will go inside the controller you need to slide that cover off and you will be able to put your batteries in and that will be that ready to go. 
and then in the vehicle itself all you need to do is open this battery compartment there take those two screws out and the the rest of the batteries will be inserted into that compartment and it will be ready to go but let's put the batteries in this awesome machine and see exactly what it can do so let's go through all the functions of this vehicle here is the remote and as you can see with all the batteries in it is now live and we have that red light in the activation button if you want to turn off the morph function all you need to do is turn that switch to off and then back on again and the light will come on now with this if you want the vehicle to go directly forwards you need to push both sticks forward like this and then the vehicle will go forward for it to go backwards you need to push both sticks backwards now if you push one stick forward you'll see it will go to the side and backwards it will go to the side again and the same with the left stick as you can see there and if you want to bring it forward you just push both sticks forward and it will bring it back into the straight position again so rear both sticks forward both sticks and then one individual stick you will see it will go off to the side now if you want to spin the car around you will need to pull one stick back and one stick forward so if I do that now you can see the car does a really sharp turn and the other way and it really does spin around really really quick and that is a cool trick that it does really really awesome that. so if you want it to spin around really quick that is what you need to do now to actually morph the car what you will have to do is hold this morph button down we will do that now and you will see the car morphs into attack mode you will know when it is completely morphed because you will hear that clicking noise and if you want it to go back again just keep your finger on the morph button and here it goes back into its vehicle mode and there you go guys it is ready again so if we bring this back into attack mode we will bring the cannon back into play and now to activate the cannon all you need to do is press the fire button on the top so I will bring this back a little so you can see the darts firing off now if you want to fire one dart all you need to do is press the fire button down once but if you want a continuous rotation of the cannon and you want all the darts to fire just keep your finger on at the fire button like this and there you go guys all the darts have now been fired that is really cool and you can also do this when it is in motion as well and there you go you can also use the car when it is in attack mode as well it still works just as well it works really well in both modes and if I bring the vehicle in a bit closer we will see that there is a red laser sight if I bring this up to the camera there you can see we have a red laser guided sight for your cannon so another upgrade to the already awesome weapon system so there it is the project 66 radio controlled car from the Maisto Tex Street Troopers line and as you can see from the demo this radio control car has lots going for it and lots of really cool functions and that rotating cannon is simply awesome well as always thanks for tuning in to this review and I will see you next time here on Toy Review TV